Okay. <laughs> Mommy, I miss you. A card submitted by a six-year-old boy as his victim impact statement. In fact, this victim impact statement was a very important court case. The boy was not at this court case. For this reason, it would have been too much for a little boy to handle. He already has dealt with so much in his life. On July 5th, 2003, Brennan, Brennan Cochran's life changed drastically. At only six years of age, his mother, Lee Cochran, was murdered. However, Brennan was lucky in one way. He wasn't there to see it. On the other hand, his six-week-old sister, Hallie Cochran, was there at the time of the murder. She was traumatized for nearly a year afterward. When Brennan was told about his mother's death, he did not cry. Before, his mom had taught him many lessons. One of them is that boys do not cry. It took Brennan a long time to show emotion. Before this tragic incident, Brennan was a very happy little boy. He was very excited about his new baby sister, and most importantly, he and his mom were very close. After everything happened, Brennan and Hallie moved in with their grandparents. Hallie was difficult to take care of at first. Immediately, Brennan was always there to help. He is very protective of his little sister and always will be. Brennan is also very close to his grandparents, so he had no trouble adjusting when moving in with them. They also lived very close to his old house, so he was in the same older, same neighborhood with his friends. Coming from where he does, Fisher River, a reserve in Manitoba, he could have become a bad kid, but he just grew stronger as a person and now works even harder than he used to. Brennan has always been very good at sports, the main one being hockey. Since his mom died, he now puts 120% into everything that he does. Before everything happened, he played because he loves sports, but now he plays for his mom. She would have been very proud of him. Brennan has played on provincial teams since he was seven. Therefore, he has traveled to tournaments as far as Toronto, Edmonton, Minnesota, and Las Vegas. One moment that I remember fondly was when he was playing hockey in Ajana. It was the first big tournament after his mom and dad. He went to the tournament playing harder than he had ever played before. As a result, he scored the winning game, the winning goal in the final game to end the tournament and received MVP. Even for a seven-year-old, he was very modest, and when people tried to take pictures of only him with his award, he replied, it was a team effort, and the picture should be taken with everyone on the team. Brennan keeps pictures of all his family, including his mom, throughout his room. For many years afterward, Brennan would find himself doing things that his mom would have done or something that she had taught him. For example, rearranging the living room furniture to give it a different look. Consequently, this was very difficult for his granny. She would always see a lot of her daughter and her grandchildren. Brennan has changed emotionally since his mother's murder. Many people would think that he would get worse and never move on. However, he now puts more effort than before and is able to show that he misses his mom. He was only six years old when this happened. Can you imagine that much hardship and sorrow in your life when you were only six or even right now in your life? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you Brennan David Cocker. Brennan. 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 <laughs> 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 this is